At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loathsome larceny. I even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Mahina, to the crime scene. And I did it all by myself. I took it back from mask to mask. With my brawny mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the Great People of the Town segment. <laughs> we have a Great People of the Town segment? You know, <laughs> that's really, you know. That's really funny. The weekly Great People of the Town segment. Oh, uh, that's my favorite part of the news. Mm -hmm. maybe, that's Honestly, what, maybe, that, maybe that's what Francisco was hoping to embarrass us on. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to get featured on the Great People of the Town segment for beating us in court. Mm -hmm. No, it's the segment after the shitty people of the town. <laughs> the greatest court victories, victories of the town. <laughs> they said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Yeah, the museum was like, here, have one of our other exhibits for saving That's not this how one. it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to the treasure that I received, I retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Oh, tell us what you know about Mask to Mask. And keep it simple, please. <laughs> Like about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds. This guy's like the opposite of Francisca, where she needed a thesaurus. This guy needs to fucking go back to basics on his adjectives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's he's killing it with the alliteration. Yeah, I do appreciate alliteration. Last night, here in the bowels of this store, <laughs> we were locked in a most glorious battle. Maya's like, don't say bowels. Phoenix is like, no, uh, I just go no. to the bathroom. At least do it here and not back at home. <laughs> I see. Uh, wait, hang on a second. You were here last night? Here? In Lordly Taylor? Naturally. Wherever Mark Damask goes, you will find Atme laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like Damask out elegance to you and made a beautiful getaway. Phoenix, that Ooh. is nothing. What you said is more like, and then you just said nothing. <laughs> About this time, I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Yes. Um, can you tell us what happened here last night? But of course. After all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> hey, oh. got him. I first received the request from my ser for my services twenty days ago, and it was ten days ago that we received Master Mask's calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes, as you see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian. F That's Adrian for you. Who else but Adrian? <laughs> A mere ten days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? Yes, so, ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse and waited for him alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? Hey, at me at least says okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at me. 
Don't at, wait. Does he say don't at me, bro? Hey, <laughs> you've <laughs> you've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let Damas get away. I always operate alone and concealed, out of the sight of others. <laughs> oh, Orange. God. Excuse? Pearl fucking... Ah! God, I'm going to buy you a dictionary for your birthday. Precisely. And I'm going to buy you a joke book for yours. Damn. <laughs> So that's yeah, that. You mess with Pearl. You mess with Pearls. Pearls fights back. <laughs> you mess Pearls with Pearls, you get back. the clam. <laughs> Coming this summer, Pearls fights back. <laughs> Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. What? <laughs> Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I got tired and fell asleep. <laughs> but I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Wait, is this Danganronpa? Did somebody die in the corner there? Oh, I think no. so, yeah. That's a Danganronpa death right there. Mm -hmm. Check for numbers and flip them upside down. <laughs> it was Leon. Leon! Now it's made, now it's made a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But that's impossible. How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, sir lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though no one came, so you're saying that even though on one came through those doors, let that's supposed to say no Ooh, one. Oh, fucking roast this game! Bad game, so zero out of ten game. Typo. So you're saying that even though no one came through those doors last night. Our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? <laughs> Kyokor in the chat is literally unplayable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Truly the miracle never happened. <laughs> <laughs> the miracle never happened. <sighs> That's just not possible. Oh, we can't even talk to him anymore. Okay. Also, is this guy canonically who Luke from the uh, Professor Layton games grows up to be? Oh, I hope not. This guy? This guy is, <laughs> this guy is the, kind of the worst, but... <laughs> Sir Lawyer, please refrain from such crude behavior. Oh, I forgot that we can't look at anything. Huh? What do you mean? This criminal is an artiste. The crime scene is the canvas upon which he paints. Only I, Ace Detective Atme, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Could you translate that for me, Nick? I think he pretty much said, don't touch anything, you amateurs. If there's something you wish to know about, you have but to ask Atme. I know everything there is to know about my rival, Mask to Mask. Who is he, actually? <laughs> uh, what do I do now? Does he have any top secret information? Stuff that only a real crime buff would know. I'll think about what to ask while I listen to what Mr. Mr. Ace Detective has to say. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Well, shit. All right, then well, let's leave this fucking place. Unless, can we present? Is there any, we don't have anything to present to him, do we? Uh, we have the. Oh, we, we can present the urn and the card, maybe. I don't know if either of those will do anything. Yeah, sure. Thanks for not end up pulling get punished for anything. Mask to Mask's calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Quite impressive. But I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. Wait, are you they calling. Have an emblem? Are you calling me your arch rival? 
I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin apprentice here. <laughs> such a great title, ace cousin apprentice. Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. <laughs> Corona Wizard in the chat said more like an ace defective. Got him. I don't know if I want this, if I really want this guy to like us. Ever. Yeah, no. <laughs> Well, sir lawyer, I've been told that you too are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, yeah, for, for for no reason whatsoever. I'm not sure that's exactly true. That's right. Okay. We're going to find the secret urn no matter what we have to do. I'll even <sighs> kill somebody. Well, don't promise that. <laughs> I swear I'll do it right now. <laughs> Excellent. Also, Giant Penguin uh, calls this guy Cyrano de Bullshit, which is really good. I do like that as a nickname for this guy. Yeah, that's really good. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If perchance you should discover something of value, return then to my office. To my office of Earthly Delights, the Atme Detective Agency. Why would you call it that? That sounds like the place where you have good food. It's sleep, where and I have do sex. all my fucking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just making sure that's what. We have an eight-year-old with us, sir. I don't think we can go in there. <laughs> Office of Earthly Delights. Well then, sir lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Sparkle, sparkle. Right. Wait a minute. He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. <sighs> I want to go to his office, too. Take me with you, okay? Earl, I don't think you want to. Yeah, know no, I, you don't I'll, go. I'll take you when you're older. <laughs> I'll take you never. <laughs> that pathetic looking wooden box. Why is Phoenix just oh. like, yo, fuck this box? This box oh. fucking sucks. Piece of shit Poor box. box. God, this box oh. is so fucking dumb. Garbage oh, box. Box. Fucking loser ass box. <laughs> you ever seen a box so pathetic looking? I'm sorry, Box. <laughs> ah, that's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. It's so pathetic looking. I don't want you to get your. I don't, I don't want you to get its pathetic germs all over your body. If you touch it, then you're a loser too. <laughs> you might get the loser cooties. There may be <laughs> clues to the thief's identity on there. Uh, I worked so hard to make that box. You made that box. <laughs> you made that poor excuse for a box? <laughs> this this shitty box? You you made, you made this, this fucking box? lame ass box? This this <laughs> fucking garbage like excuse of six fucking planes? You did that? Wow. Maya. This is fucking embarrassing, Maya. You got to put I yourself in a box. I've seen with someone who would make such a fucking lame box. God. Ugh. What's that supposed to mean? That urn has always been on its stand in the winding way of Fae Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I was so proud of it. Man, well, you shouldn't be, because it that sucks. <laughs> Poor Maya. Maybe it'd have been better if Master Mass destroyed that stupid box. <laughs> Fuck that box. I hate that box. <laughs> I hope the box was the killer so I can send the box to jail. <laughs> I hope the box gets murdered. <sighs> wow, this is awesome. What did Miss Andrews say it was called again? Shishido Peppers. It's literally a seven branch. It literally means seven branch sword in Japanese. 
Or so says Miss <laughs> Andrews. Oh yeah, Shichi. What is Shichi? Shichi needs seven. Oh, oh Shichi, okay, yeah. okay. Japanese lessons here. Ace Attorney with an actual Japanese language I, understander. I, the only reason I can count to ten in Japanese is because I took uh, karate when I was a kid, mm. and that's how we count. We counted in Japanese. That's fair. Oh uh, yeah. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. <laughs> pretty catchy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah, you, you don't just swing it once and hit somebody seven times. You have, you, you have seven times more fun when you get stabbed by this sword. <laughs> he ran into my sword seven times, but only one time at the same only time. Only one sword. <laughs> so it has a seven times damage bonus modifier to it. <laughs> Roll seven d sixes when you hit it when you hit with it <laughs> um there's something about it that bothers me wow you're really firing on all cylinders today pearly i can't help but read that as like a sarcastic I know, like, thing. wow you're really firing on all cylinders today pearly i was just like there's something off about this sword insight? and mine's like wow fucking huge insight from pearl today anything else wow Big brain on Pearl today, huh, Nick? <laughs> She's a real ace cousin apprentice, huh? Wow. You see something weird about the sword. Wow, what sort of insight are you going to give us, nine-year-old? Huh? Gee, Pearl, why don't you go make a box? Maybe it'll be better than my fucking shooting box. <laughs> Man, the, the team's really falling apart this episode. <laughs> this is where the gang breaks up. The end of the gang has a tragic break and we go their separate ways. <laughs> Sword. Wasn't Mystic Ami holding it last night? Okay, actually, I don't feel bad for making fun of Pearl on that one. Yes. Uh. And another thing. Sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. You're right. Awesome, Pearly. <laughs> I wouldn't expect any less from my little ace apprentice. <laughs> The sword is bent, so that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Get bent, sword. Aha. I just thought of something. Maybe Detective Atme smashed Mass Damask with it. Like this. Youch! What the heck? Like this. <laughs> stabbed him. <laughs> What the fuck? Sorry, Pearls. My. What do you think, Pearly? He literally you said, give it a "Try." He literally said, "Don't touch anything." You fucking attacked me with a sword. I think it's even more bent than it was before. You really hit oh. it with it. Wow, way to take a priceless artifact and fucking hit someone with it. Oh man, that's my okay. head. I'll just my hair. I'll just hit him with the other end to set it back into place. <laughs> ah! uh, let me see if this computer does anything. Hey, Pearly, no. do you know what this is? It's a computer. No. A computer? Oh, I've heard of those. It has such a cute name. Am I crazy? Didn't she? Didn't we explicitly have this conversation with her last game about computers? Oh, it was wasn't that cell phones? Maybe I don't. Uh... Well, some people in the chat are saying that we did. Oh, okay. Well, that's why she said she's heard of it, but like, <sighs> anyway. See, whatever. She's doing it on purpose. Whatever. She knows exactly what she's doing. Fuck this kid. <laughs> Looks like this computer is for storing data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. It's probably the trap that the detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. We might even find a photo of Master Mask. Hmm, let's see here. Man, I really stink at working these things. <laughs> Come on, Windows 98, but in 2018. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? 
You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. I guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. Ooh. <laughs> Let's check that out. Absolutely. Uh, around 1 a.m. at the night of the crime. Okay, well. It's not going to give us what the photo was? Nope. All right. Just the data. Unhelpful. Yeah. Just you, that data. Wait, we can check this. Oh. And that's not oh. just data. It's save data. Thanks for data. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, let's look at the... Dang and Rampa Death Rampa corner. Yeah, Dang and Rampa Death scene. Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. In what world was that me? Did, did you literally just... We've been... <laughs> when would I have done that? I didn't By a do that. Print. Well, it wasn't here last night. I would have noticed a color this outrageous. So you assume I did it? <laughs> But this paint has already dried up. Thank you, Pearls. Well, then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Uh, paint oh, doesn't dry that, dry that fast. Besides, I told you it wasn't me. Looks like it's been several days since it was spilt. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom side of the stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. Statue. The statue of Mystic Ami is so cool. Especially when I the eyes gold. start to bleed blood. Oh no. <laughs> and it starts screaming in ancient unknowable tongues. Off. The fucking statue starts screaming. Yeah, it screams oh, in, no. ancient un in ancient unspeakable tongues. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want a gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Hey, it's right and co. How about a gold statue of me? Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? Nobody fucking cares. <laughs> the statue of Mystic Ami. Was this what it was last night? Pearls is single-handedly solving the case. Oh, I mean, she's right the brains now. of this. I think, I think, we, yeah. I think we might have this in like a different case. She's the brains of this operation. Absolutely. Uh, -huh. uh. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. So now I'm just envisioning this like a fucking uh, Inspector Gadget with uh, was his his niece Gadget. Penny. Was that her name? Yeah, pe pe Hey, Penny. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, go, Gadget Copter. <laughs> I'll get you, Gadget. Yeah, your claw, hey. your claw voice is insanely good. Gadget. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes yeah. and stuff back there. Mm, big boxes. <laughs> uh, and good boxes, too. Not like your shitty box, Maya. <laughs> I don't. That's Take how you make a box. Maya. <laughs> I guess that's where they were keeping the sacred urn. Remember, Maya, make a better box next time. <laughs> Miss Andrew said we're not allowed in there. Okay. What a weird look. Like... Uh, hold on. Can check, the, check the paint cans. See if they... Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that paint uh, flag? There's nothing, nothing to look at them. Uh, nothing in the boxes to the right of the statue. Uh, oh. No? And there's the words organic. I don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah, but that's nothing. I can't imagine that's anything. I do want to check out Burr because uh, it does have a thing. Okay. It looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it is the Burr. 
Aha! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say no. hamburger. God. <laughs> Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something. I kind of doubt it, Maya. Aha, I've got it. Maybe it said spaghetti. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why what are you fuck? talking about food? Oh, wait, that's normal for you. Anyways, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti, Maya. It's spaghetti. <laughs> it's spaghetti. <laughs> well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay. Did Maya just... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a really good line. That's so good. Did Maya just have like a brain aneurysm? Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. Damn, fucking got her. <laughs> and because it's here, we gotta look at the ladder. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. How do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation somewhere? <laughs> Narrow-minded <laughs> cultural assumptions. <laughs> what are you uh, doing, Stepladder? <laughs> what are you doing, Stepladder son? <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> yeah, we're 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 like about halfway through. Uh oh. Well, I don't know if we're gonna finish this investigation tonight. Uh, oh Nick, not. <laughs> your cell phone's ringing. Hello, Phoenix, right here. Oh, 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 it's me, Gumshoe. Hey, Santa Claus. Gumshoe? What is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally, this underdog is the alpha dog today. That stuck-up detective's met his match. Yep, I finally caught him. Fuck, stock and barrel. There's no escape for him. You caught him? Are you saying... You, you captured Mask to Mask? Bingo! Well, actually, he surrendered. I still got him! <laughs> mask to Mask surrendered? That's great. So when can we come and pick up the sacred urn? <laughs> Uh, uh, well, you see, I was gonna tell you. What? Something wrong? You think you can swing by the detention center sometime? Detention center? He wants to talk to you. Master Mask, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal, so get over here soon. The detention center, huh? Well, uh, I guess we better get there. Uh, oh, we could also go to the at me detective agency. Let's go to the other place first, because I don't want to talk to at me. Yeah, no, go talk to. Uh huh. Uh, do, uh, can we try and look at Charlie and the Gatewater? Oh, good, good catch, good catch. Nice, nice. Look at Charles in charge. Charlie, a quite decorative plant. When she was alive, Mia really loved it. She even went so far as to make it our mascot. What? Which is really lame. Must be nice to be a plant. Just being able to sit in the sun and photosynthesize. Hey, Nick! No time for daydreaming. That's right, Mr. Nick. No time for daydreaming. <sighs> oh, man. Until I find that urn, they're not going to give me a second of peace. There's a giant building just outside the window. Nick, what did we just fucking say? <laughs> it's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. The chain is getting so rich, they bought a whole chunk of the next... The next town? Whoa. What? <laughs> Whoa. How are they doing well? They had two murders take place in their hotel a year apart. That really yeah, dude, they keep nail. using that for advertising. Come to our hotel, yeah. you might get murdered. Come to our hotel where guys die. 
where guys come to die. Gatewater Hotel. <laughs> and started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gatewater Land. Oh, the uh, shittiest yeah. theme park ever. So, fun fact. Uh, Gatewater Land is a location in Ace Attorney Investigations. No uh, way! So Miles, yeah, you. There's a there's a case at Gatewater Land. That's amazing. That's actually pretty amazing. I was gonna say uh, it, it would be amazing to find out that uh, Vic Vandal built Gatewater Land. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And to think that just two years ago it was a little hotel for businessmen. I can't wait to like. I can't wait to like Ace Attorney Nine when the world when it's a dystopian future ruled by the Gatewater Corporation. Yeah, come to Gatewater. Shit. Shit. And Gatewater's on like the that. online delivery service. There's a, ga there's a Gatewater secret police force. The gate gate. You want to come over and Gatewater flicks and chill? <laughs> Water flicks. That was terrible. Yeah, that one sucked. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, uh, I think it should be. Do you want to come over and Netflix and Gatewater? That's yeah, also bad. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, here we go. Mask to mask. Fuck. Hey, pal. Oh, wow. no, better than Tension Center. It was me the it whole time. It was me the whole time. I surrendered. <laughs> You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yep. After all, we got masked in Right, but, um, so where's the sacred urn? <laughs> I don't oh. give a fuck. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, I'm fucking out of here. I caught a mastermind criminal. I'm getting a promotion, pal. I hope I never see you jack offs again. <laughs> I'll, be Sorry able about to, that. I'll be able to afford two ramen twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, pal. I... I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. Maya, you got killed this case. Maya, you're dead. <laughs> you know, he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims. <laughs> well... I guess so, in a way. Um, damn it. I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person because we're always on murder cases. E excuse me. But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Please don't just ignore me. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We, lo we love this guy. Yeah. This fucking guy? No, this guy's pretty good. This <laughs> fucking guy. Uh, um, who are you? I, uh, um, I, 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 I'm m m Mask Damask? Okay. <laughs> hey, Nick, doesn't he look kind of so gangly? I'm Ron Delight, the, the famous Mask to Mask. <laughs> Such a good name, too. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a shitty wooden box Damn filled it, by Maya. Grinch, I was about to say that next. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Oh. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a paper bag. Damn, got him. Get, get fucked, Ron. So, you're the mask to mask guy? Yes, you bet. No, uh, that's wrong. Wait, that's you wrong. See, it's complicated. Sort of yes and sort of no, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean is to say that it's not right, per se. You see, it's not spelled mask de mask. It's actually spelled mask de mask. <laughs> That's really good. What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling. We know that much. 
Could knock this boy over with a bucket of water, if you know what I'm He's saying. He's a fucking scrawny-ass nerd. <laughs> Even I could beat this little baby boy in a fight. Come on. <laughs> don't do that. Don't look at me like that. I don't need your pity. And a major crybaby, too. Oh, you're gonna cry. So, why did you give yourself up? Little oh, baby. Well, you see, it's because, well, I know why. It's because you're a little baby boy, <laughs> huh? You need somebody you to cry, change your diaper. <laughs> you need a new bottle, little baby. <laughs> it's because you stole such a priceless treasure. And now you're overwhelmed with guilt. Am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Wow, way to have you respect were... people's cultural heritage. That you put in hey, that Ron. shitty box? Hey, Ron, <laughs> you remind me of a certain box I know. Has <laughs> anyone told you you have the face of a box? A really shitty, pathetic box? <laughs> um, I have a little favor to ask. Yes? What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? Desi? We're going to talk about the urn first. Yeah, we're not. Look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry. I'll give it back. I really will. Uh, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting you. <laughs> um, Mr. Nick? I couldn't hear what he just said. Especially the last part. Um, Mr. Damask, do you think you could speak up a little? E yes, sir. I will. I promise. Uh, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. What? Mr. Damask? About the urn? Oh, yes, the urn. Right away. Uh, actually, no. Sorry. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually, I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> Enough already! Just tell it to us straight! Please, please don't yell at me! <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I heard. I, I lost it! <laughs> What? What did you just say? Did you say you lost it? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. <laughs> You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know. <laughs> what? You forgot our sacred urn on a train? Wait a minute. You went on the train dressed like that? No, I, I I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Anyway. I'm sorry. I just lost it somewhere. I just don't know where. This guy's story is more surreal than a dolly painting. Wow. You know, that reference out there for all the Salvador Dali fans yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. What if I just send one out for all of our Salvador Dali heads? <laughs> Salvador Dali head. That's what they're called. Yeah. <sighs> Are you really sure this creep is masked a mask? Maya, don't call him a creep. Call him a fucking widow baby boy. Oh, I... I'm a loser. I do. Oh, no. <laughs> I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. So, who is this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife like that! I just asked her name. I just asked who she is. I'm like, I, I didn't call I her a loser like wife. you. Oh, you think you think the person he just said was his wife must be his wife, Maya? God! I'm sorry. The truth is... It was my wife that told me to have you all come here. 
Um, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? The hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say my secret base. What is this, Pokemon? Nick, S secret what base? Does he mean by Nick, what does he mean by secret base? <laughs> All your base are belong to us? Deep cut. Yeah. I was gonna say all your base, uh, all, all your base, are belong, yeah. all your base are belong to us. Oh, the song! Damn, that was a good song. Mm -hmm. Well, my apartment actually, my apartment actually, Palazzo del Pepe, third floor. It's a Palazzo del Pepe. <laughs> Palazzo del Pepe. Peppo used to live there. <laughs> Peppo, Peppo making the spaghetti at the Palazzo del Pepe. Peppo. Beppo is such a good character. I miss Beppo. <laughs> Let's go have a look, Dick, to Mask to Mask's hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. And shitty boxes. <laughs> I mean, you were kept in a hideout, in a sense, Maya. That's true. That's true. And you she, were kidnapped. She had her experience there, yeah. <laughs> and thrown in a wine cellar. <laughs> Let's go to the hideout. You know what? Ron's got by wife energy. He's got, oh, a hundred percent. Ron Ron would wear the t shirt that Chris owns <laughs> of That's Kermit right. the Frog in in the by flag, but in the by pride flag that says by wife energy. And I'm not joking, Chris owns this shirt. I'll put a picture of it in the edit right now. Please do. Chris is the homie. Okay. I forgot about this next character, actually. Wow. Check this place out. Wow. <laughs> no bow to doubt it. This is Master Mask's hideout, all right. Did you mean to do that on purpose? Yes. That's so good. No bow to doubt it? I've never heard that before. Shut up. Yes, you have. No, it's it's like, I mean, here's the thing. When somebody says, instead of two show day, somebody says do show tay, I lose my mind. I think it's the funniest shit ever. So you saying that blew my mind right now. No bow to doubt it. It's very good. Yeah, okay, okay. Is that a gun on the wall? Yes. Is that Chekhov's, yes. gun? Is that Chekhov's gun on the wall? Oh, my God. There's oh, Chekhov's shit. Gator. Chekhov's there's Gator. Chekhov's, there's Chekhov's hot air balloon there in the Chekhov's left Chekhov's hot corner. air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, there's so many check <laughs> these are all I know, there's so many, items. There's so many Chekhov's items in this room. Oh shit, it's 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 Chekhov's wigs in the corner. Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Franz married to a sweet Oh, I like this person already. <laughs> <laughs> Fridge! Yeah, Fridge! Fridge instantly is like, wow, okay. Yeah, she looks, she looks cool as shit. No, no, her design is great. We, yeah, we, no, she we, looks great. we love Desi for sure. But I'm like... really thinking, honestly, just for a second, this is the first time I've thought this, but man, the text box is really too big. Like, they need to, like, lower it a little bit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> why do they have to make the text box so big, really? I don't know why I just thought of that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just a random thought that came <sighs> into my head, but just, like, make it a little lower. <laughs> Half of nothing. <laughs> huh? Who are you people? Uh, um, are you Desiree Delight? That's right. I'm Desiree. Ah. Oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim. Yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to, that you wanted us to step that you wanted us to stop by. I'm Maya Faye, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nikki Boy and Maya, huh? What well, now? <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. Did she really call me Nikki Boy? Uh. About your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. 
a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> um, a bit. Oh my god, I just turned into the chat and saw Chrono Wizard. Zach, your husband wanted you to step on us. I mean, save him for. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the they said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training training? Yeah. At a law office now. Oh yeah, shady training at a law office now. Remind me to wa not watch that channel's news program. <laughs> what shady training? Yeah. <laughs> Being a paralegal? Yeah. <laughs> Bridge, what sort of shady deals do you get into? Yeah. <laughs> After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie. He has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me. I stole that urn, he kept saying, as if it was even possible. Huh? B but are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a pri priceless treasure. And, and he's, you know. He's, you know. Is it Wait. possible that his own wife doesn't know about his secret identity? Oh my god. Oh, no, technically she knows his secret identity it would be does she know his alter ego? Like does, yeah, does she know yeah. his his masked identity? She knows she knows his secret identity. He's Rhonda Light. Yeah. Yeah. Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Why are you dating him? Married to him. Yes. I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at uh, full throttle. I would have mm. gone pilot, but that makes sense. Yeah. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk taking type himself. You're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Oh shit, Ronda Light. Oh is sh huge. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 I mean, listen, one of us is gonna make the joke. <laughs> Come on. Come on, people. You know what, Ron? Good on you, bro. Good on you. All right, Ron. Ron's okay. like. <laughs> Ron, good for you. Oh no, Ron! <laughs> oh, yes, Ron! Change his name to Ron Jeremy, am I right? <laughs> oh god! Uh, wow! Fucking what? A, in the year of our Lord 2021, somebody just made a Ron Jeremy reference. Holy shit! Yeah, damn. Wow. I took psychic damage from that. I wonder how much of our fandom knows who Ron Jeremy is. Also, don't Google Ron Jeremy, chat. Yeah, no, Ron Jeremy is Please a terrible don't. person. Ron Jeremy is a, is a shitty, shitty person. Also, yes, I did call it 2021. I'm sorry. Time is a flat circle. It's still 2019 in my brain. Oh, God, I can't believe that's a line. Uh, other ways? Oh. Okay. Yes, money. <laughs> oh. Ronnie is incredibly rich and super generous. So would you say that he's compensating for something? <laughs> he bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day, it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Like Man. the exorcism? Because I got a priest on the line then. Yeah. I got Maya right here. <laughs> Talk about a... I don't think she can help Actually, with wait. Now. You won't be able to do anything. Talk about a high-maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all his money from? 
Wink, wink. Ronnie is a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? How much money do you think security guards make? <laughs> yeah, so man, security paid. guards. Super so large they get amounts paid of money. Tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard? I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Can you tell me about what happened last night? Hmm. What time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, uh, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. Got pulled over. God damn it, Val Doodle's cheered a bit saying, you see my husband works at this pizzeria with this bear mascot. God, God damn fucking it. damn it. Ego, <laughs> add to the finesse, Lord. Yeah, fucking Ron Delight is one of the security guards in one of the finesse games. God damn it. Yep. yep. Pulled over? Yes, I always do my best. I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Uh, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yes. Anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. What? When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. Are you just, like, fucking burning at 120 miles an hour getting into high-speed police chases? Yeah. Well, I also like the idea that he wouldn't arrest her. He would just give her a ticket or something of, like... Jesus Christ, lady, what the fuck? It was about three in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at that time of the, of the night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. Okay. Great. Do we have to present uh, the wanna... calling card, or? Uh, didn't we? Did we get something? No, no. we didn't get anything. No, we got nothing from. Uh, pre uh, present the profile of Mask to Mask. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot we okay. had this. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Miss Delight, you must know, right? About your husband and Mask to Mask. Oh my he's god, he's cheating on me? <laughs> he's having an affair with Master Mass. <laughs> he's having an affair with crime. Master Mask? Of course I know about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Yep. What? Huh? Biggest fan? Yes, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. Wait a minute. Do you say delusional? Yes, that's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is mask to mask. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Uh. Uh, so, when did Ron first become Mask to Mask? What are you talking about? He's not Mask to Mask. Huh? But, wait a second. Look around this room. This place is obviously Mask to Mask's hideout. <laughs> no, no, you're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. <laughs> Let me show you a real thief's hideout. She pulls a lever and it's Mask to Mask's real hideout. Oh, oh shit. Well, I guess you know that I'm the real Mask to Mask now. Not me again, Phoenix. <laughs> it's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? Mask to Mask is a bad guy. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway. If he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? She has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. 
Maybe Mr. Delight isn't Masked to Mask after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nicky boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside. But the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. You literally... Okay. <laughs> I love the, the idea of Phoenix being like, you literally... Okay. Yeah. You just you sure. just told us that you broke the law last night. Okay, whatever. That you commit, that you commit speeding violations sure. apparently very nonchalantly. Sure. Okay. Great. I had the feeling. I had the feeling you didn't. You're tough, but I can tell you've got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter. A letter. Oh fuck. Jinx, you owe me a burger. Ha ha ha. Ah, that's how she always gets me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Miss Delight. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. <sighs> all righty. And... and now we go either back to Mr. Delight or, or either yes, to we go back to the detention center uh, and present the letter to Ron. Let's let's do that as the final thing. I think that's that's a good. God, I forgot this. The song is so ostentatious. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's we just came here explicitly to deliver this to you. I totally <laughs> forgot about this. I almost threw this piece of paper away. Sorry, you I just, used it as yeah, a... Yeah, you, you just walk in. Hey there. Oh, I almost forgot. This is from your wife. <laughs> <laughs> here. I forgot why we came here. All right, bye. <laughs> this is from your wife. Oh, from Desi? Thank you. <laughs> Letter given. Actually, what would <laughs> My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. That's all. <laughs> okay, he's bye. Clutching, he's clutching onto the letter so hard, the ink is going to be squeezed out. It looks so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Fire too, Mr. Nick. Or maybe a guy. I, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe to Gumshoe? You I recently just way. learned that guys can kiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Lawyer? Yes. In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Nope. Nope. Uh, Not um, doing it. Not doing it. I know this would be asking a lot, but could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. He can't be your lawyer. Why not? Nobody died. What do you mean, why not? <laughs> We're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damask guy. Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he's deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? This poor guy's a psycho. <laughs> Come on! She could be lying to protect her husband! <laughs> Mine's like, fuck them. <laughs> Well, that's true. Uh, no, actually not. Actually, it's... Oh, no, it's spreading! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. What? What, <laughs> what should I do? Ah, uh, see you later, Master Mask. <laughs> Good luck with the public defender. Just because I'm curious. What happens? Don't do it, Nick. He's a thief. Mr. Nick, I agree with Mystic Maya. Well, I admit something about this guy stinks like last week's sushi. <laughs> I guess I really should say no. But if I do that, this guy, this poor guy will have nobody on his side. Oh, well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to take your case. Really? You will? Mr. Nick, I, I was wrong about you. 
I shouldn't have trusted you. Brutals. Jackass. <laughs> I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. Uh, I'll never forgive you. Ever. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Burly, wait. This is going to be ugly. I'll go after her. <sighs> wow, wow. Um, sorry about that. I I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, could have known she could. You couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya, where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. I'll check in on her later, would you? Did she go oh, alone? She's a child! Listen, I can't catch up to her. Have you seen her calves? How did she... Like, what do you expect me to do? She's an unaccompanied minor, Maya. I assumed you would have fucking taken care of her. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. She's Next too time, fast. Why don't you go try and catch up to Pearl? Hmm? That's fair. And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah. I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, I, uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's get this show on the road. All right. All now the right. real investigation starts. Yep. And with yeah, that. That's a good, that's that's a good stopping yeah, point. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Folks, that is going to do it for another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. Again, if you like the show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team uh, every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm brain fart there. Uh, if not, no worries. It goes up on our YouTube the very following Monday and Tuesday. And hey, if you'd like to support us financially, head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Throw us a couple bucks. We'd really appreciate it. But until next time. Court is adjourned. James, uh, hope you like it. I made Maya Ezrianoske and kisses to you guys from your fans from Brazil. Thank you, James. Yo. This is super good. Go. And this is now yeah. my headcanon for what Maya would look like if she channeled uh, Rinosuke. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. That awesome. uh, classic review. I've been getting back into Pokemon recently. Objection. With a little Ralts. A little Ralts. <laughs> I like that the Ralts is mimicking his arm motions. Oh. Super cute. Hell yeah. <laughs> Daddy, can you make me a sandwich? Let's see. Poof. You're a sandwich. All right. So uh, what kind of sandwich do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all. I like that a the lot. The day I become a dad. I will destroy my children with that joke. So please be excited. <laughs> uh, Emerald Scholar, uh, but this is super good. Ooh, there go. Yeah, I love the, I love like the, the. Blinded by the butterfly. Blinded by Dahlia, yeah. That's amazing. Uh, Rose with more Matt Cross Dahlia, the only villain ship, the one villain ship I've ever made, and I will have ever made in this fandom, yay. I know you're there. What do you want from me? What do you need? Uh, oh, this is Evil Matt. Mm -hmm. I just want to know about you, Flower. Not interested. I can make it worth your while. Make staying here more interesting. Mm. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Thank you, Rose. Uh, uh, Pearl and Maya playing with Pearl's ball. <laughs> 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 I love the final Maya. I'm just like, yeah. She's like, oh, my head is so Let's thick. <laughs> oh no, infamously dorky with Dorito shit troll. <laughs> Why is helping someone hide a body the standard for true friendship? Look, if you're in trouble, I'll lie to the cops for you. I'll dispose of evidence, whatever. But please, I'm begging you, do not make me dig a hole. That sounds so hard. <laughs> Wes, that was great. That was a really good voiceover for that. 
Dilfichu, me and Six did a mini collab based on the outfits of the new Ace Attorney Cafe art. I did the line art and she did the coloring. This looks so oh, good. Oh, no. so cute. Yeah. Really good. Hell yeah. Yeah, Look at all this stuff. Are super cute. Hell yeah. Amazing. Uh, Fluffy tells my attempt at editing Luke's sprite to make him look like a human being. <laughs> <laughs> he looks weirder. I actually really like this. So he Luke. looks so weird. It's such a funny way to word that. <laughs> to make him look like a human being. <laughs> uh, oh shit, ATM with the... Apparently Bar Exam Movie Posters is my niche. Chekhov's oh, alligator. alligator. Coming soon to theaters <laughs> near Anytown, Ohio. That's so good. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Croissant, he just wants to clean the toilet. I could be cleaning the toilet right now. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's just Phoenix's mind processed throughout everything. It's just, damn, I wish I could be at home right now cleaning the fucking cleaning toilet. The toilet. <laughs> Quirked up white boy with a little bit of swag. Busted down sexual style. Is he goaded with the sauce? <laughs> BDSM stands for Bad Dahlia Sipping Milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> More milk for your shake, Dolly? <laughs> the, the fucking face on Phoenix is so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the P stands for I'm gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> How about please? How about please don't? <laughs> uh, Dolly, I can't see. Poor Madam Lawyer. Caught, caught lacking with no milkshake. I can teach you, but I'd have to charge. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's so Yo, good. This is great. Wow. Also, I do have to point out that Dahlia is listening to her Zoom. Oh, shit, she is. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Thank you so much. Appreciate uh, it. Oh, fuck. That's and amazing. the milk, the milk carton has its Mooster Chief. Wow! <laughs> right, it is Chrono Mr. Wizard, uh, and Rook. Very fat, fi very finally, very happy to finally catch a stream. So here's some art of my favorite magician. Yo, oh, that's super that's great. Chris Angel. Hell yeah! <laughs> that's not Chris Angel. You have a funny way of drawing <laughs> Chris Angel. Uh, no, no, it's <laughs> definitely Chris Angel, my freak. <laughs> freak my bean. Uh, this is the really bean. clean, Rook. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm also glad you were able to catch a live stream. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. 